What's up guys, Billy here, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday, the commentary series where I sit down and talk about anything technology related. Now, I haven't done one of these in a few weeks now, and a lot of my newer subscribers may be wondering what this series actually is. Basically, it's a way that I can just sit down and talk with you guys rather than try to cram a bunch of information into one video. I can sit back, relax, pretty much have a conversation with you guys about anything in the technology world. Uh, usually it's about recent events, recent news, information, and today I've got a pretty good topic, so let's get into it. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a drone that is fully waterproof and also uses DJI tech. And you guys may be thinking to yourself, well, the Matrice 200 series did just come out, which does feature an IP43 water resistance rating, but this drone is fully submersible, fully waterproof. I'm pretty sure you can actually record underwater as well with it. It's made by a totally separate company that pretty much outsources and gets all of the parts from DJI. They build the frame themselves, they get the motors, uh, I think that they get the camera, as well as the remote from DJI. So it's almost like you're flying a DJI drone. It's made by a company known as Quad H2O, and they actually make a couple of different drones on the market. This drone I'm going to be telling you guys about is the first one that uses DJI parts. Now just as a little background, let's take a look at some of the other drones that they've made. First we have the Quad H2O. This comes in a kit that requires assembly, but gives you a drone that has a mini FPV camera, floating landing gear, and is fully waterproof. It doesn't have the smoothest looking footage, but still looks like a lot of fun to fly around and build. Next we have the Hex H2O. This also comes in a kit that requires assembly, but you'll get a professional grade waterproof drone capable of taking super smooth footage with a gimbal system and GoPro camera. If building the drone isn't your thing, you can have it pre-assembled before shipping. Next we have the Sarah H2O. This drone looks identical to the Hex H2O, but is built for search and rescue missions. It has the capability of shooting smooth footage with a gimbal system and GoPro, but also has a second housing for a FLIR camera. Their newest drone is the Hex H2O Pro V2. The body looks great as it seems to be a high quality build and of course uses many DJI parts. To get a feel for the features that it includes, I will show a picture that they feature on their website pointing to all of the different components. In this picture there are a few things that I want to talk about that caught my eye. First of all, the DJI parts and applications that are used. These parts include the N3 remote controller, the E800 motors with quick release props, the X3 gimbal and camera system, and compatibility with other DJI technology such as Lightbridge 2 and the DJI GO app. Another point that stood out to me was the folding arms. Portability is super important when it comes to drones as they need to be carried around. The Mavic series has folding legs, the Phantom series includes propellers that are easily removable, the Inspire series flattens out to make it easy to fit in a case, and the Matrice series has arms that fold together, making it into a compact design. The Hex H2O Pro takes some design tips from the Matrice by including foldable arms. Other great features included with this drone are the waterproof body, buoyancy aids, and large area viewing dome. These three things make it the ultimate waterproof drone as the buoyancy aids help it float and the large viewing dome ensure that the waterproof body will never get in the way of your shot. Something that isn't listed on this graphic, but I feel is worth mentioning, is the use of dual batteries, just like the Inspire 2 and Matrice 200. You're able to use two batteries in parallel, which have many benefits over just using one. Now I know that a lot of people are probably wondering the same two things. First of all, when will I be able to buy this drone? When does it go on sale? And two, how much is it going to cost me? And I have some good and bad news here for you guys. So the good news is, is that you'll be able to buy this at the end of March, March 31st to be exact, which is just a little over one week away. Now the bad news is, is it's going to cost you $6,449, which really is a pretty penny when buying a drone. You are getting a lot of cool features with this, and I'm sure you're actually going to end up paying even more afterwards, just because there are so many upgrades that you can get and so many different accessories. If it wasn't so expensive, I would definitely try to get my hands on it. It seems like a great drone and it would be awesome to show you guys, do some tests, and really just put it head to head with some of DJI's drones, as they're basically the same parts, but again made by two separate companies. Maybe sometime in the future I can get one of their drones, do a little test of them, as I'm always looking to try some different companies other than DJI. If you guys want some more information about this company as well as this drone I talked about, make sure to check the link down below for their page and also the article that I read that introduced introduced me to this company. So guys, that about wraps this video up. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of these drones. I think they're awesome. They're a really cool concept and I think that soon they could end up taking off if the release of this drone goes smoothly. 
So guys, as I said, this video is coming to an end, and as always, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.